Hello everybody, I am Om Bhavsa from Vishwakarma Institute of Technology. I and my team are going to explain you about instruction education. So before that, I will explain you what are the types of registers which are used in CPU. So first one is memory buffer register. So it contains a word to be stored in memory or sent to the I.O. unit or is used to receive a word from the memory or from the I.O. unit. So basically in order to, you have to store some data or a word in pen drive or hard disk. So before that, the whatever is the data, it is stored in this memory buffer register. So this is the main function of the memory buffer register. Second is memory address register. So it specifies the address in memory of the word to be written from or read into the MBR. So memory address register. So what is the, uh, it uses if you want to store some data. So initially, the whatever the data you are storing, it is stored in this register. So whatever the, is the uh, data, it is initially stored in this register and then it is uh, executed. Next is the instruction register. It contains the 8-bit OPPO code instruction being executed. So instruction register is a register, uh, it, it stores the address of the current uh, instruction sets. So whatever instruction is, is being executed, the, all the address is stored in this register first. Next is instruction buffer register. Employed to hold temporarily the right hand instruction from a word and in memory. So uh, this is a register in which the uh, half of the instruction is stored for the temporary uh, time. So uh, it is hold temporarily uh, the right hand instruction from the word in memory. Next is program counter. It contains the address of the next instruction pair to be fetched from the memory. Program counter is a register in which uh, it stores the address of the next instruction set which is going to be executed which is not executed right now but the, it stores the address of the next in instruction set which is going to be executed and last one is the accumulator so accumulator and multiplier question implied to hold temporarily operands and results of ALU operations so it is a uh, accumulator holds or stores the results of the arithmetic operations like multiplications divisions so it stores the arithmetic uh, operation which is done it stores the result of that example we will see so for example the result of multiplying two 240 bit number is an 80 bit number the most of the significant 40 bit are stored in the ac and the least significant is in the mq thank you hello everybody myself aditya barsakade and i am here to explain what actually instruction cycle is so let us see the instruction cycle is all about the way inst instructions are fetched from the memory decoded and executed by the processor so instruction cycle is all that instructions are fetched from the memory then decoded and executed by the processors so this is what the instruction cycle is all about so next see the phases of the instruction cycle so, so the instruction cycle is mainly consist of the three phases to fetch the instruction then to decode the instruction and then to execute the instruction so these are the three phases of the instruction cycle so next see what is the instruction phase fetching so in this phase program program computer plays a vital role so in the, in the in the phase of the instruction fetching the program counter plays a very vital role the program counter is a register which stores the address of the next instruction to be executed so program counter is a register where which stores the address of the next in instruction that to be given so hence depending on the value of pc address is sent through address bus so the PC address is sent to the address bus of the memory and then specific instruction is sent back through the data bus. So the specific instruction is sent back through the data bus. Myself Bhavik Naik and now I am going to explain what is the instruction decoder. The instruction decoder of a processor is the combinatorial circuit that sometimes in the form of read-only memory that is ROM and sometimes it is in the form of an ordinary combinatorial circuit. Its purpose is to translate an instruction code into the address in the micro memory where the micro code for the instruction starts. Now instruction execution. Once the instruction gets decoded, the processor executes the instruction. In this phase, processor performs the action specified by the given instruction. I am Pranav Hari and I will explain the writing results. So we get three results as an output. The first result is that the the instructions are executed and are written back to the memory through data bus. The second one is that the accumulator stores the input and output of the data. The third result we get is that the results are sent back to the memory 
through dataverse hello students i am aish bhattacharya now we will see how to add two numbers in a computer okay so let's see an example adding two numbers so till now we have seen that what does a program counter do a program counter also in short it is known as pc it stores the address of the next instruction it stores the address of next instruction all right what does instruction register do instruction register it does store the uh, it stores the instruction basically it stores the instruction stores instruction which instruction which is just now it will be executed that instruction that is to be executed okay we know that program counter does uh, it stores address of next instruction and ir since ir means uh, instruction register it stores instruction that is to be executed right now okay so let us consider an example we know that memory is there okay memory in memory we store data also and we store instructions also so generally generally instructions are stored at the top part now suppose in memory there are thousand spaces okay there are thousand space to store things in one space you can either store a data or you can store a instruction so generally in the first means in the first half the instructions okay the instructions are stored in the first half and data they are stored in the latter half all right so let us consider that in memory address 300 okay this is the address of memory it 1940 okay 1940 this thing is stored okay memory it is stored 300 in 301 something else is stored like uh, like a uh, 5941 okay 5941 also in 302 the thing that is stored is 2941 2941 all right like this we can go on go on go on and finally we reach at a place where it is saying 940 okay it is saying 940 here it is stored like 0003 okay 0003 also in 941 it is stored 0002 okay there can be many more storage spaces like that but let us consider this example only okay so in memory we know this is stored what are stored in the registers let us see that registers in registers first of all let us consider the pc the program counter it stores the address of the next instruction so just for our convenience we will think that pc currently okay this is step 1 this is step 1 pc currently stores the address 300 okay now we will see ir which is instruction register and also we will see the accumulator okay yes accumulator is another register it stores uh, you can say that it stores the results okay it stores results after calculation after arithmetic calculation anyway you know that so program counter currently this is step 1 program counter has the registers a, a program counter has the data 300 in it okay now the the process which i am explaining right now is uh, is much simplified manner in reality it happens in a much more complex manner like right now you can see on your screen these are all the instructions that takes place just to add two registers okay just to add two registers r1 and r3 but we we don't need to go into that much detail we will just see a simplified version okay so program counter has this 300 so 300 this number will be searched in memory 
where is this 300 it is here what is inside the 300 300 has this number 1940 1940 will go into instruction register 1940 okay it will go into instruction register now remember one thing always first of all i am writing all this in hexadecimal so while i am writing this in hexadecimal computer actually stores it in binary format so there is a whole 16 bit string that is actually there 16 bit binary string now of course each of these numbers can be uh, each of these numbers they take four binary numbers like one it can be written as i am writing this only zero 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 one nine how can we write nine we can write it as one zero zero one four it, it is written as zero one zero zero and zero it is it can be just written zero 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 so this is a whole 16 bit binary number that is actually stored it is not stored in 1940 it is stored in this format but for simplicity if we continuously write it like this then you will get confused for simplicity we will just consider hexadecimal numbers all right now the thing is that you divide this thing okay this part this part is known as the op code okay this is the op code and this is the address this is the address what is an op code op code means op code okay op code what does it mean op code means task okay op code means task we will see what exactly is the task okay now this is 0001 op code so if i write this first four bits is the op code okay first four bits is the op code, op code and rest 12 bits is the address so if i write it in hexadecimal form the first first one bit is the op code and the rest three digits are the uh, address correct it is the address so 1940 this is the op code and now remember this one thing that whenever i am writing it here whenever the op code is one okay whenever the op code is one or it is uh, one or you may say zero 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 one okay zero 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 one if i consider it as binary or simply one if i consider it as hexadecimal number it means what does it mean it means that you have to load load accumulator okay you have to load the accumulator so here it means it what it exactly means that first you have to load okay the task what you have to do task is to load the task is to load what we have to load 940 we have to go into 940 okay we have to go into 940 and the data it is there 0003 this will be transferred or uh, you may say copied okay you may say that it is copied into the accumulator okay it is copied into the accumulator so accumulator currently has 0003 okay accumulator currently has the num uh, the uh, data 0003 okay so understood what happened program counter is currently at 300 so it went to 300 got the number 1940 stored it in instruction register the first number of instruction register it defines a task it defines the opcode and 940 it is the address it is the address so we again went to 940 got the data now 0003 what we will have to do with 0003 we have to load it why because the opcode says so take the number and load it or loading means copying okay copy it into the accumulator so step one is done step two okay this is uh, this was step one i am writing it here step two okay step two now the program counter what will the program counter do it will increment by one always remember once an instruction is completed okay the load instruction is completed now okay once the instruction is completed the program counter is incremented by one so pc now becomes pc plus one 
so of course it will be now be 301 again the same process it will go to 301 now it shows 5941 5941 will be loaded into the IR means the instruction register 5941 okay of course 5 is the opcode 941 is the address and 5 5 means 0101 which is 5 5 means to add add okay 5 means to add so we will have to go to 941 this place in 941 we are seeing the number 0002 now accumulator what will happen accumulator already has the number 0003 and 941 has the number 0002 so 0003 plus 0002 because it says add the answer will become 0005 okay accumulator will currently have 0005 as the answer or as the result okay so with this the second step is over but it is not yet complete we of course we have got the answer but now we have we will have to store it otherwise it is of no use correct it is of no use so next the third step and the final step you may say is to again increment the program counter so i am writing the third step here third step pc will now become what pc will now become 302 what will the ir become ir will become it will go to 302 take that number that is inside it 2941 it will be loaded here 2941 what does 2 says the 2 means that these are all different different opcodes okay 0001 if it is written then it means to load 0101 it means to add 0010 which means 2 in hexadecimal it means to store store okay it means to store so what we will have to do is to take the number in accumulator and store it into this address it says store 2 means to store where to store in this address 941 so accumulator accumulator is still 0005 but what the change happens the change is that 0005 will now be copied okay 0005 will now be taken and stored or it will be copied into the address 941 so it will this data will get erased and will be replaced with 0005 all right so this is how a whole process happens while adding this is a simplified version okay i showed you the slide right now right now that there are more instructions to explain but we don't need to go into that much depth if you have understood this then it is good enough okay so that's it thank you very much